Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about the six warning signs that you might have blocked arteries to your legs, to your feet, or even your penis if you're guys. And why is this bad? Because anything with a blockage can and eventually will lead to a heart attack or stroke, let alone just poor blood flow accelerates aging throughout. Now you might just feel like, hey, I'm walking, you, you feel discomfort in your legs, you might think it's something else, or the guys you can't perform, maybe it's hormones or something, or maybe it's old age, or maybe it's just your fatigue, but no, it can just be something called peripheral arterial disease, um, artery disease, or PAD for short, and basically it's just poor blood flow to your extremities, in this case being your feet, your legs, can be your hands as well, but we're gonna focus on the lower body, including the penis. And again, like I said, it can lead to a blockage. Now, these six warning signs, you know, are things you should look out for, just so you don't, hey, you never know if you have it, but if you have a couple of these warning signs, then you should be considering doing the following things I'm gonna tell you to help improve it. And of course, you should probably see your doctor and say, hey, give me a check out, let me see, check out my blood flow, is the circulation good, check out the arteries, because again, you don't wanna get a heart attack or stroke, a lot of people die within just one heart attack or stroke, their first one, so you don't get a chance to come back. So with that said, remember, early detection is the key. With everything, the earlier you catch it, even if it's cancer, catch it in stage one, man, you're probably going to get that out. But if you catch it in stage four, mm, lower survival is obviously much worse. So at the end of this video, I'll also give you easy to implement solutions. All right, so one of the first things is if you have a leg pain or just uh, like cramping during activity, uh, maybe you have heaviness in your legs when you're walking or climbing the stairs, or you know, these are all warning signs, especially if the discomfort gets like all of a sudden better when you rest and it gets worse as soon as you're going. This means that you obviously have poor circulation, something's going wrong, just feeling heavy all the time. It's just basically the blood flow is not going from you know the heart to the legs and then back up. So that's one problem. Another problem is uh, skin color or temperature changes. For example, if one leg looks different than the other, uh, maybe it's one leg is paler than the other, or it's more bluish than the other, or it feels colder than the other leg. Again, these are signs of poor blood flow. Another issue, another sign of poor blood flow is slow healing wounds. Basically, you get a cut uh, or sores on your legs, and it's taking a long time to heal. And this is obviously due to poor blood flow. And that's because blood, remember, it brings all the nutrients, including the youthful hormones for your body to repair itself. That's why when you're kids, you cut your hand, immediately it gets fixed. When you're older, it's happening lower, slower and slowly, obviously because of age. But if it's taken a long time, this is bad. And a lot of times this is also, um, this problem is more related to people who have diabetes or very high blood sugar levels. So one thing you should do is obviously test your blood, make sure your blood sugar insulin levels are good and obviously make sure you check your A1C levels. And again, blood sugar is super important for just blood flow in general, but especially if you have slow healing wounds. And underneath this video, I'll give you more specific uh, videos and tips for improving your blood sugar and A1C levels. Now, another indicator of poor blood flow is if you have like shiny uh, legs or it's hairless uh, in some, some parts. Now, if it's just unusually smooth, right? Now, this can be an indicator of poor blood circulation. Now, obviously some guys have, um, who wear socks, you know, like ankle or calf socks, you know, calf high socks. And because of dress socks, usually that rubbing that friction will quote unquote tweeze out, pluck out the hairs, and that area obviously doesn't have any hair, and it's the same on both legs. But if it's on just one leg, and the whole leg is just super shiny, and there's no hair on it, and I've seen it in people, especially diabetics, and that's a definite sign, and that you yeah, have poor blood flow, especially if it's discolored on top of the lack of hair and the shininess. Again, especially if it's on one side versus the other. Now, another indicator of poor blood flow is if you have numbness or weakness in your legs, Listen, numbness is never being numb or having tingly sensation, just feeling heavy. That doesn't seem to go away. Even if you're like resting, this is just poor blood flow. Again, like I mentioned earlier, the blood is, is pumping. It's not really getting down to the lower extremities. And then it's obviously not going back up. It's not doing that normal thing that the healthy blood flow does. It gets stuck. So this is a big indicator. And number six is one that most guys don't ever think about. And that's erectile dysfunction. All right. Uh, poor blood flow can cause erectile dysfunction. Uh, 
hormones such as low testosterone and high estrogen are primary causes of low libido. However, poor blood flow is typically a secondary factor. And this is a big deal for guys because if you do have poor blood flow, especially the penis, and you have erectile problems, this is a clear potential warning sign, like uh, the canary in, in the coal mine, basically, that you are starting to have blocked arteries, which can lead to, again, a heart attack or stroke. These are just warning signs, all right, that you need to be paying attention. And hormones in men, coupled with poor blood flow, is like a super bad indicator of issues going forward that you're accelerated with the aging, especially if the penis is negatively being affected. It's not just because you have old age. So this is something important to know. And if, again, if you're guys, you're dealing with erectile problems, hormones, and, and blood flow, I put links underneath this uh, in the video in the description area. So after this video, make sure you take a look. Now, basically, just because if you have one of these issues doesn't necessarily mean you have peripheral, uh, peripheral ar artery disease or PAD or you have really bad blood flow. However, if you have two or more of these and you're older and you have diabetes or poor blood sugar and you're heavy and you don't start to notice these things, you're not getting the erections for the guys, these are indicators that, uh-oh, something is wrong. All right. Obviously, you need to, first of all, improve your life. And I've got videos about all this. And I put the top three and most important videos underneath this in the video about improving your blood flow, lifestyle, exercise, supplements and all that stuff. And of course, you know, see your doctor about this. All right. If you start having these issues and you know it, please don't pretend it's not happening. Uh, men, especially these days, you know, they just pretend nothing's happened. It'll get better over time. Let's face it. Aging makes everything worse. Okay. So while it's fresh on your mind, scroll down and take action on the information that I've listed below this video, the important videos and articles. Blood flow is super important because I've said it before in dozens of videos, your blood contains all the nutrients, all the hormones, the amino acids, everything that you need to survive. Poor blood flow means poor blood flow to the brain, to the skin, to your muscles, to your legs, to your heart, all your organs, including guys who really think mostly with the thing about their penis and erectile problems. It's all related. Blood flow is a major, major problem that people don't give it a second thought. They think it's just aging or I'm tired or something like that. It's not. I know guys who have excellent blood flow and they're in their 60s, 70s, and yes, in their 80s, all because they're doing all the things that I mentioned underneath this video and the uh, additional videos about their lifestyle, their body weight, their, their what their foods they eat, the supplements they take, the exercises. It doesn't have to be super strenuous either. Just a couple minor tweaks will give you big improvements. So scroll down underneath this video, take a look at the additional three important videos that I mentioned and the supplements and the diets and all that stuff. And again, this was helpful. Share it with a friend. Make sure you subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Wishing you a happy and healthy day.